Hey everyone, it is the Charming Giraffe, and today we are going to do another How Did They Dry video. Uh, I will try to go in order, but I'll probably get them mixed up, so well, let's get started here. The first one we'll do is this one. It turned out so cool. This was the egg tray, like the deviled egg tray flip. I filled it up with paint. I had a I had a base coat or I didn't have a base coat. I think I had a base coat and I flipped it and we used all these really cool colors. We got some lacing, some cells, I, and then I uh, took a straw and I blew it out so to try to cover some bare areas because it actually suctioned to the, the tray when I, because I set the canvas on top and then flipped it all over so I had to pull the the tray off and it was a more difficult task than you would imagine. I just love the way this came out. I think next time what I'll do is I'll just fill the tray up all the way and not put a base coat down and see how that um, just kind of let the colors blend themselves hopefully. So turned out really cool. Let me know what you think. I'm pretty excited about it. And then I don't remember what we did next, but I'll show you these next. <laughs> this was the clean pour on a, it was a, the canvases were coated in the black flash, so black and gold, so that's why sometimes it looks black and sometimes it looks gold, and then neons, and then I blew that out with a straw as well. So we will start here, we'll go from the top left to right and then down across both and honestly these got kind of mixed up um throughout the drying process and moved around in the studio it took me longer than it should have to figure out how these paintings go together i was like turning them around and trying to match the colors up it was pretty comical then i finally remembered <laughs> and got it back the way it was so Pretty cool. I really like the purple with the green or the yellow that I put through there. I wish I would have done that more now seeing it dry, but it's okay. It'll make a pretty background for something. And then we did the more neon. <laughs> this is where we took the water toy and we filled it up with paint and then just squirted it onto the canvas. Uh, made this really cool tree ring and I don't really know can you guys see that I'm not exactly sure what that is on the canvas there's no silicone in any of my paintings or paints so if you happen to know what that is please let me know I don't and I'm not too sure I like it it's like a oily residue. Let me grab a baby wipe. Maybe there was something in the actual water toy itself that that caused this. Um, I didn't, I don't think I cleaned it or anything. So I was just thinking it was unused toy. <laughs> so maybe there was some sort of like oil or something in it. Because it's not on any of my other paintings that we've seen so far. Here, this one's kind of dark. You don't see that, like... Hmm, I don't know. We'll see if this gets rid of it. If not, we'll have to figure out something else. Not really. Hmm, or maybe something just spilled on it. I'm can't imagine what in my studio. I really only come back here to art. <laughs> so there's not like I'm bringing through food or anything else. Uh, so I'll have to wait and see. And then next we'll do this one. This was the colander pour on the turntable and I still love it. I'm really excited about this one. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it or if anything because it could definitely stand on its own. Um, not a lot of contrast, but it's so pretty. Um, this is like a little mountain or volcano 
this is where the middle of the painting would have been, I'm relatively positive. She's got all those like pastel colors here. I wasn't even really going for that. I don't really know what my plan was when I was picking the colors. I don't think I really had one. I think I just had a few colors that I liked and I was like, that's not enough colors. So I grabbed a few more that went well with it and that's how we got that magic. And then finally, this was the leftover paint pour multiple tree ring style. I took, maybe it's the neon paints. Maybe something happened to those because it's kind of on this one, not as much. But this one actually has more than just neon in it. So let's see. Yeah, that's coming off. Because at first I was thinking maybe it was just glitter because there is some other paint in this one. Maybe some of that cobalt blue, that metallic cobalt blue. Maybe it's in the neon paint. I'm not sure. Um, but it was leftover paint pour, mainly neons, because I was trying to use them up because they had been sitting for a while. Um, but there were some others from where I had mixed up other paints. So it, there could have been other paint in here as well. Uh, but yeah, we did the tree ring, multiple tree rings. So this section has the blue, purple, and green. And then throughout our middle, going on the diagonal here, we've got the greens and orange and yellow and pink colors. And then another little area of purple and green and then a blue and green corner, which I, I love this one. I liked it when it poured out. Let me just do a quick little test over here. Baby wipes seem to do some good. There are some areas that are still a little... I don't know what to call it. Whatever is wrong with it. Oily, I guess. I don't really know what it is. So yeah, I'll try to clean this one off as well then, since that seemed to work. But yeah, it's pretty cool uh, painting here. Okay, our final one here is the Infinity Pour that Mixed Media Girl um, invented. Uh, we This is take two. Take one didn't... I showed you take one on the take two video. I think either I had deleted the video or something happened with that video, so I did it again. Um, this one did crack a little bit as well, but not too bad. I'm not too worried about it here. We've got some really pretty colors. Love those cells right there, that little cluster. Just kind of reminds me of like a mermaid. I don't exactly know why here. But yeah really like this one. I like the way this turned out. I like the way the last one turned out. I think they'll make some really pretty like underwater backgrounds for something or another. Yeah. Let me know what you think in the comments. I do want to thank you for watching. Another quick reminder, the coupon code for the Etsy store where you get 30% off. I'm using the, the code is happy birthday, all capital letters. Um, no spaces. Um, it expires on Monday the 23rd, the first day of fall. So if you have been, have your eye on a painting, then get over there and use the coupon while you can still get a 20, 30% off, 30% off. Um, so yeah, I do want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and do what makes you happy.